this is my very, very last um, post-op visit because I am heading home this afternoon. Hopefully I'm getting my drains out. I cannot wait. I'm super excited about that. Um, me is pretty empty today. There's nobody here. Unless they all got dropped off. But I'm excited. And um, yeah, it's quiet here today, y'all. Oh, so, um, we're headed up. I'm gonna say today, I wasn't in pain. My, you know what? I'm, you know what? I'm not in pain. I'm itching. My boobs are itching like crazy. Definitely a traumatizing experience because I hate to go. Um, even though I know that I was here for surgery, you know, and that was the main plan, it's still hard to, you know, say goodbye. That's one of my hardest things, but you know what? God is good, and if God is willing, I'll be back. So we're very clear I'm not on time, I'm not on time at all. So now I'm trying to get the TSA because Lord knows I should have been here a whole hour ago and I was not here. So here we are. Luckily, TSA is not bad today. Not bad at all. So I'll see you guys on the so inside. I will say this. Going through the airport was definitely interesting. The Faha caused me to have to get patted down. <laughs> And I was like, ma'am, I don't care if you pat. Just do not pat me hard. I just, I beg of you. And I just told her I had surgery. So I know this is going to sound really weird. But please don't hold it against me. Um, don't pat me hard. She didn't. So when I say I got through TSA like super fast, I definitely got the TSA super fast. For sure. So now I'm gonna walk around and figure out where the heck I'm supposed to be going. <laughs> a transparency moment. Y'all, it's difficult to walk in O'Hare. And I'm moving like a super slow. But I found myself having to stop like a lot. And that's okay. I don't really care what nobody think. I really don't care what nobody think. But with the mask on in conjunction with with like walking it's a little tough so i don't know how anyone else is in regards to like traveling and having aesthetic surgery but all i have to say is in the event you decide to go to like a different state to have your surgery just make sure that you you really have somebody that can be there to assist you and you're not walking, you know, you're not, you're not on your own. Um, I decided to come home. That's the only reason why my husband's not here. If not, he would have been here helping me push us, but um, it's, 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 it's difficult. It's very, very difficult. So just keep that in mind when you're traveling, make sure that you have somebody with you to help you or take your time and walk slow. I decided to stop here to give me a hot dog before I get on the plane. I'm so hungry. I'm so tired because every time I've been eating all day long. So, yeah, it's imperative. So, 